Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and in this video, we are going to construct a streaming pipeline cloud BigQuery. So what this lab is about is, we are going to construct a streaming pipeline where the input will be cloud PubSub and the sync will be cloud BigQuery and the staging for temporary location we will be using cloud storage bucket and the compute it will be cloud data flow and we'll make sure we use the predefined template to build this entire pipeline. So first we will be creating four different services. One is cloud storage bucket followed by BigQuery data set and BigQuery table which act as a target and the third one is we'll be using cloud PubSub topic which act as a source for this pipeline and the entire pipeline will run on cloud data flows predefined workflow template. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I'm inside my console. The first thing is we are going to create a cloud storage bucket. So you can just search on that and click on this cloud storage and make sure we create bucket from console or from gsutil command as well. So this is my bucket name, temp bucket bq bq. So this is my bucket name and I'll create this bucket as in a region. So region is US East 4 and rest all the other details I'll keep it as same. So now we have created the bucket and we will create a folder called temp inside this. So this is where we will be saving our logs. Whatever the data flow generate logs, all those things will be present inside this. Next is we'll create a cloud BigQuery. So we'll be creating a data set now. So you can just click on this three dots, create data set and data set ID streaming pops up to bq this is my data set and let it be in region remember it should be underscore not iphone so click on this region and we'll select us east 4 as our region rest all the other details we'll keep it as same so our data set is ready we can just click on this three dots and create table so this is my table create table from empty project id data set and this is my table name stream pops up to bq this is my table name and it is going to be a native table next is we will add the schema so we'll just add this field and data let it be string mode nullable all those things just all the other details we'll keep it as same so as of now we created cloud storage bucket we created bigquery data set and table inside cloud bigquery itself the third thing is we'll create cloud pubsub topic just search for cloud pubsub and create a cloud pubsub topic. So we will create the cloud pubsub topic here. It is not mandatory to create a subscription along with it, but it is up to our choice. Whether we want, we can create or else it is fine. So streaming the same pubsub to BQ. This is my topic name and I don't want any subscription. And since cloud pubsub is a serverless and also a global service we don't need to configure to any particular region whatever it is it will work fine so i'll just click on this create button and this is where we will be ping our message from this cloud pubsub topic and this message will be returned to cloud bigquery so now we have created this pubsub topic as well the third and the last step is data flow job so just click on this data flow search for data flow you will be able to find it out. one important thing i wanted to tell you is make sure you en already enable the api of this all the services so click on this create job from template and now we will give the job name stream pops up to bk and the regional endpoint let it be us east to four and data flow template so for data flow job we have already our predefined templates and we are going to make use of that predefined template so we are using data processing that like streaming data line so cloud pops up to bigquery so you can see pops up avro to bigquery if your format is avro if your format is procto if your subscription subscription or topic to bigquery cloud pops up subscription or topic to text files on cloud storage so here it is pops up topic to bigquery we can just configure this and just all the other details will be auto populated by google cloud itself and the input topic is the one which we have created streaming pops up to bq the next one is bigquery table so we'll create select this stream pops up to bq we'll just select this and the data status streaming pops up to bq the third one is temporary location 
for this we have already created a bucket bq streaming bucket and then select this temp folder so we are good now rest all the other values will keep it as same itself then just click on this run job or else if you want to get the equivalent command line tool you can just click on this command line and you will you'll be able to copy this and you can execute from cloud shell as well so now i'll execute this in run job so meanwhile i wanted to tell in my youtube channel i have created all the videos like how to create pubsub how to create cloud storage bucket what is bigquery what is bigquery data set and what is bigquery table i have created all those things and also i have explained what is data flow job how it works all those things i have explained i'll give you the link of all those videos in this description section if you want please refer to those videos in order to get a good understanding of what we are doing in this video so this is the p collections which we have which we are going to use on this lab so read cloud pubsub topic convert message to table row write successful records flatten it failed records so this or the something which is already written by google cloud itself so now here you can see the job name job id job type job status sdk version all the other details which you configured here so now we will open our cloud pubsub topic and this is the message which we are going to publish data kf is a kind person remember when we are creating the bigquery table so i created a, a schema with data so that is where this actual data will be returned there so i'll just open my cloud pubsub topic and inside the topic i'll go under this message tab publish message and paste it, it over here so what is the number of messages i want to publish it for nine times so i'll just click on this publish so here you can see pending success all those things is is getting uh, populated so so our data flow job is continuously running whatever the message which you have published here it will be returned into cloud bigquery so we can confirm that by going into cloud bigquery so there is no data to display it means you have to just come here and cross check whether this streaming pipeline data flow job is running or in the failed state make sure it is in the running state then after some time just execute re execute the same query so yes here you can see the data kf is a kind person and you will be able to see it published nine times what that this is how you will be able to construct the streaming pipeline from cloud pubsub to cloud bigquery using cloud data flows predefined template so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any questions any doubts please post in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning